Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over the Bitcoin chart here, some resistance and support levels to be aware of when trading today and some potential strategies that one can look for when trading in an uptrend. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one and let's get into the charts. So to begin with, what do we kind of have a potential here for? In my opinion, on the Bitcoin chart, we have the potential for a range. A few factors to bear in mind. The uptrend is very strong. So we are in a strong uptrend at the moment. Uh, factor number two is that each dip is getting very heavily bought. So with those factors in mind, let's think to ourselves, how could we trade what we have right now? Can you see the areas of resistances and supports? The area of resistance is fairly clear where we have this block of resistance up at those highs and then the area of support is down at this block of support down here so we have our area of resistance and our area of support so what we know is that what do we like to do when, when we're talking of the highest probability trades we think to ourselves we have a potential range we want to be shorting near the high of the range and longing near the low of the range most people actually let their emotions get the better of them and you will see people shorting the lows and longing the highs that's obviously not what you want to be doing when it comes to trading you have to remove those emotions of the fear when price is dropping and the greed when price is rising and really flip that on its head um and i do understand that shorting here might not be for everybody uh, you have to come to this decision yourself. I'm just giving you some ideas on a chart. You have to make the actual trade decision yourself. For, my, for me, I'm comfortable scalp shorting the high of a range. Um, but I know and understand many people do not feel comfortable shorting in such an uptrend. So an, another strategy could be instead of shorting here, you know, if we get a retrace, you can then take a, a, a long position, for example. And so you're just longing the dips rather than trying to short the highs, essentially. Um, myself, I would view this as a, as a scalp short. You know, the thing is, if, if I take a loss on it, it, it doesn't affect me. If I take the loss, then, you know what, I'll, 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 I could just switch into a long after it's hit my invalidation. It's really not the end of the world. Uh, but I feel we have a nice potential range here. Obviously, you know, I acknowledge the, the strength is 100% to the upside. The momentum is to the upside. But... I have a nice potential range here that I'm, I'm happy with. If we break to the upside of the range, I already know the levels that I'm aware of where I'd be trading to, to the upside. 19,500, 19,800, really simply all-time highs. You're looking at $22,000, $25,000, all-time high strategy. Um, and, all I, and I will also acknowledge that there is not much resistance to the upsides. We are down to... The last three levels on the chart, it's, it's the resistance is running out. Let's just put it like that. Um, so the momentum and strength is with the balls. I acknowledge that. And that's why I prefer to keep shorts very quick. And I like to keep my longs, you know, let them have the potential of running a bit longer. Um, but that's the range that I have for you with some levels of resistance. If we break the higher range, which we have to acknowledge is definitely possible and, and, and arguably more likely that we break up from here. But again, shorts are very, very quick. Likely by the time you see this video, I will be out of the, the trade, but I still hope this has been beneficial. Um, and to the downside, if we break to the downside, we have 18,500. I'll show you, by the way, what happened here on this move to the downside. As we know, we like to trade the CC and we take our fib from low up to high. We put this onto the CC template. And the CC got front run. So you can say this is a bullish reaction because a lot of people are waiting to buy here. And when price front runs it like it did, um, you know, you get the you get the move back up, you kind of swing failure pattern almost the lows, and then everybody waiting for these lows is is forced to buy in higher. So that's one thing that I would would bear in mind that that was a bullish reaction, arguably off the lows. Um so I wanted to highlight to you why we why we were seeing this potential of, of the bottom of the range in that region and now why we're coming up to the higher range once more, which is a weekly. We have a weekly resistance here, which, you know, is a, is a big resistance. 
so you, you know you did get the you did get a, a big pullback from 19,400 maybe I'll attach a clip to the end of this video for you to explain in a bit more detail of, of how that come about but um yeah I hope this video has been helpful for you to to um you know go over those low and highs how we trade the range until it breaks if it breaks to the upside you, know, you take a loss if it breaks to the downside you take a loss and for instance if we do break to the downside of this range take a loss on the long that I would look for at the low of the range and, and I could flip into a short really is not the end of the world um you have to remember when trading this range the the, the win let's say from the higher the range to the lower the range is, is nearly four percent and your loss would be 0.4 percent you know, you're, you're, you're times 10 the winner against the loss so you know that 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 that's trading for you i would like to just give you a little bit of a glimpse of war of, of ethereum here and what happens in an uptrend so ethereum what happened with this it was beautiful I want to give you some insights on this video. Uh, this is from Sunday's live stream. Let's start from about here. I don't know. Um, I want to just give you some insights of what I was saying about on to Ethereum on Sunday's Champions Not the live end of stream. the world for me if I don't get filled on these orders. But I think the only place where I'd really feel I, uh, comfortable I hope buying you can hear is this. around this 470. What I have to think is it does look likely that it can continue for another 10, 20%. Let's be honest. It really does look likely. <clears throat> but the problem is I, I just do not feel comfortable buying ethereum at you know where it is so i'm left having to wait for a pullback uh maybe it doesn't come but again I'm, I'm happy with that scenario that it doesn't come and i just hold the underlying asset but i think if i wanted to get leveraged i would have to be waiting for some sort of pullback into this resistance support into the point of control into the 382 that would be my preferred scenario how could this happen well it would really i would think that it has to happen from bitcoin getting a big rejection so that was a little clip of ethereum analysis from sunday the 22nd of honest, november where i was giving a setup to the champions and this was waiting for resistance to flip into support on the 382 fibonacci level on the 382 fibonacci speed fan if we come over to what happened last night nothing short of beautiful from Sunday's live stream, we did get a move up of 20%. I was saying that there's the possibility that we move up another 10 to 20%. Why was that? It was based off of my Ethereum analysis on the Bitcoin pair, where I was expecting this to move up into the daily point of control. And we moved up to that also perfectly before we got our pullback. So that, that was great analysis, if I say so myself. And then on the USD pair, where I'm trading over on Bybit, we will pull in our Fibonacci speed fan. I will do this for you so you can understand our fibs from the low. Okay, so Fibonacci retracement from the low to the high. I was going for the 382. And then the Fibonacci speed fan from the low to the high into the 382. So we had three or two on 382. And on top of that, we have this resistance here, resistance here, flipping into support. So we have the resistances flipping into support on the 382 speed fan on the 382 fibonacci level that's what i wanted ladies and gentlemen that's what happened and this is what we call um champion like trading you know you got to stay patient for those pullbacks you might think i think my exact words in the live stream on sunday was we've seen stranger things happen <laughs> you know and that's why staying patient waiting for those bids that's been able to buy about 500 dollars and being able to sell when I wake up, seeing you know, that I got filled for six hundred dollars. You know, it's an over twenty percent gain while asleep. Very uh, brilliant, brilliant setup. But the the highlight here, takeaway point is, we're waiting for retracements. We're staying patient and making money. You know, that's the takeaway. We're making money. Um, if you would like these type of setups, obviously in the in the Sunday's live stream. So Sunday's live stream is for the champions members. I go through a setup, Bitcoin, Ethereum, for an entry. So I go through the technical reasons explaining why I'm entering here, explaining why my stop loss is here, and explaining why my take profits is here. So you get an educational live stream of me live trading this with the theory behind it. It is extremely valuable information. And then when you get a 20% gain like that, well, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so that was what happened over on Sunday's live stream. Um, 
yeah, pull back into that 382 absolute master piece of of analysis. And um, yeah, that, 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 that that's what I wanted to bring your attention to. But that was obviously based off of that, that Ethereum BTC pair analysis and how we come up into the daily before pulling back there was really was beautiful. Um, so I hope I've been helpful in this video for you, giving you some potential ideas of resistances, supports. Again, if we break resistance, look for longs to higher levels. If we break supports, we can look for shorts to lower levels. If you do not feel comfortable shorting, you can just wait for a dip. Um, again, I don't mind shorting. I am a trader that's comfortable doing this. Um, but we have a nice potential range here with the momentum for the bulls. So I hope that this video has been very helpful. If you have enjoyed it, as always, I would appreciate a like down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those key updates that I've been giving to you. That Ethereum update that I gave to you last month was a big money maker uh, so i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed once again ladies and gentlemen have a brilliant week ahead and if you are interested i got another contenders educational live stream for you tonight this is for all of the contenders and all of the champions we got an educational live stream for you and then on sunday we've got another live trading series hope you've enjoyed hello everybody hope that you're doing very well and welcome to this video where it's going to be a bit of a live trading session as we have just hit my high term time frame target on bitcoin as well as my high term time frame target being hit we have also hit a intraday scalping setup so this for me is a short position from nineteen thousand four hundred dollars let me explain why what we have is this ccv setup so you take your fib from low up to the high okay so from this low up to this high you then come down to your entry region each of these fibs are entries for me on a long position take profit one here take profit two here as we can see i was updating the champions group on this trade as we hit entry take profit one see it moving up to the target nineteen thousand four hundred dollars we come along come along ping 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 price target hit that is weekly resistance weekly resistance and then on top of that 19,400. Thank you, Daniel. You're absolutely well, you're absolutely welcome. Uh CCW straight to the target. And for me, that is a short. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Literally taken five minutes ago. 19,414. This was a market entry. I just got in at market. Uh currently that is a short position of three hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars. Short position on Bitcoin. Five minutes later, nine hundred dollars profit. I'm expecting that to times ten. <laughs> um, we are at massive high term time frame resistance. People are ultra bullish, expecting all time highs twenty thousand dollars. Everybody's expecting twenty thousand dollars now. So what I've done here is I'm front running the target everybody's expecting. Everybody is buying heavily here. They're not expecting the retrace. If you look at my trading updates that I give every day to the contenders and to the champions every day. My hard term time frame resistance was $19,400. I was given today at 11.43 a.m. We're now at 3, 3, 3 p.m. So we're ready and waiting for this level. When it comes, I short. No hesitation, no overthinking. Position taken, $350,000. We'll see how it progresses. Uh, but that, for me, is a very important level. Target for longs hit. Happy to switch short. Thank you, everybody. and here we are quarter past nine i'll give you a final update before i probably upload this now tomorrow on youtube for the public uh, obviously if you're in the champions group you know exactly how i've been trading this because i've been trading on live stream tonight for you all you've all had the pleasure to uh not that one uh, you've all had the pleasure to watch me on stream as we have been taking some trades all of the trades taken on live stream one all ending in profit and uh the, probably the takeaway one really nice one was this uh, head and shoulders short which obviously um played out in the end very nicely as we were going through this head and shoulders here there was the left shoulder there was the head there was the right shoulder we obviously got the move down we got the move back up we got the move back down now we're getting some bit of chop <laughs> down around the lows but overall a very successful day i uh, hope you've enjoyed this analysis if you are interested in watching me uh live trade this on stream where i'm you know i'm taking positions explaining giving a little bit of expl explanation and all that good stuff then you know that, that's what you got in the champions group but that was timing the highs hope you've enjoyed that ladies and gentlemen and um much more to come from myself
and there you go ladies and gentlemen that's what you call shorting the absolute high i closed my short at the vwap and i just re-longed uh so short closed <laughs> from shorting the absolute high to hopefully longing down around these lows my short was actually closed at 18,950 down here as you can see i'm now in a 270 thousand dollar long which i'll add to if we get some strength of course uh but yeah what a short that was 19,400 bring it down to around 19,000 i'll show you the uh show you the thing i um i update my team in real time there's, a, there's always real time updates and uh, that's uh short into a long so closing my short going into a long view out very powerful sculpt along there you go there's all the real time updates no hindsight no hindsight um that's an absolute perfect trade shorting the absolute high bringing it down to the absolute low switching that short into a long taking profits at a very very low um yeah that's what we call champion trading running the market champions knew how i was trading this i've done a lot of live trading today we've done actually done live trading on stream and updates 